Hi everybody! Today we're going to see how I draw Cara Doom from The Mandalorian. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpie. So if you don't want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you'll see a link that you can click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. And now I'll even include one for color. So for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and have some fun. Okay, so at this point in time, I, I don't know when you are watching this, but at this point in time that I'm recording this, I have not seen the show. I have my subscription. It's not come out yet, but I have no idea how you pronounce her name who she is, or anything like that. I'm just going by cool pictures of a cool character. So I assume it's Kara, Kara Dunn? No wait, Car Kara Dune? I don't know. I know it's not Kara. I I I'm gonna say Kara. Kara sounds more Star Wars than Kara, you know? So, uh, yeah, so, so like I said, this is me just kind of drawing a cool character. That's really about it. And I think because, and also, yeah, I didn't know nothing about her at all. So she looks like a really cool, tough uh, character that's like someone you don't mess with, you know? And so that's how I'm kind of drawing her, kind of a, like a, a cool commando, you know? A cool, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, cool, tough. Uh, well, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with that. <laughs> cool is a strong word. You know what I'm talking about. So, you, you get it. So, anyway, um, yeah, so what I was just trying to say is I don't know anything about the character right now besides the fact that I just like her. She looks really neat, you know? And, uh, I'm really excited about the show. Uh, I don't know where they're going with it. I don't know what they're going to do, but, uh... It, it looks exciting, and I'm very excited to, or I'm very happy to be seeing this come to fruition. Because for years, years now, they've been talking about doing a Star Wars series on TV. And it's it's been too expensive, or the ideas were too uh, oh, expensive, yeah, too elaborate that they, they couldn't afford to do something like this. So, there's a... Uh, there's a, a, what did I watch? I watched some kind of video of somebody talking about uh, trying to create the shows and how uh, George Lucas was pretty much like, yeah, money's no problem, just write, just write your story. And they're like, well, this is kind of elaborate. And he's like, no, just write, just pitch. And I get it, it's a pitch pitch meeting, a pitch story. They're like, just see where we can go with this, you know? And he's like, money is no problem, don't worry about that, just write a good story. And that's, that's really how it should be, you know, whenever you're writing or creating, it should never be about, well, I, I can only work with this, you know? You want to shoot for the stars, <laughs> literally, and uh, and I, I get why he was saying that, but because of things like that, um, it, it couldn't happen. It was way too, he, basically he's planning movies for a TV show, that's, that's the budget. And it was too expensive, so they couldn't do it. So that's that's been uh, what we've heard for years and years and years, you know. So uh, it's never never been never been uh, possible. So now that it's happening, this is this is super exciting, especially coming from a sci-fi nerd. And I, you know what, that's what's so, let, let me take that word back. Not a nerd. Everybody has, has used that as a, you know, you're a sci-fi nerd or you're a, a comic book geek or whatnot. But hey, you know what, the fact that that's kind of like, same thing with computers. When I was growing up, working with computers, you were a, or if you had a computer, you were a nerd. You were a geek. You were picked on. You were laughed at. And now, who's laughing now? You know, all, all hail the geek. All hail the nerd. We are in control now. <laughs> because that's where technology went. And that's, that's what everybody wanted, you know. So, good for us. Good for, 
everybody who does computer graphics, who does coding, who does the 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 magic that wields wields the digital magic that everybody is grateful for or relies on now these days. You know, they may not be grateful, but they need it, and it's up to you to uh, guide our guide our, our future into a digital beautiful world. You know, so thank you, thank you for that. So that's that's what I was trying to say. Is there are no, no such thing as geeks anymore. Now everybody's a geek. Everybody's going to Marvel movies. Everybody's looking at Star Wars and and uh, um, Harry Potter and all that kind of fun stuff, you know? Because it's they're they're finally finding out, and I'm so happy they're finally finding out the glory of you know Isaac Asimov, you know, or or you know all the other beautiful creators. I remember reading The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy when I was a kid. It was the weirdest, craziest thing, and I had nobody to talk to about it, you know? Uh, the weird names that were in it and all this, I was like, what is this? You know, same thing with Dune, you know? I, I still have certain ways I pronounce certain things, you know? Uh, Arrakis, you know? In the movie, they called it Arrakis, you know? So it's like... You, you 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 figured it out by learning it and growing up with it and now it's great to see it in the the normal lexicon of the world you know everybody knows these words and you know uh, a private little joke is you know tell me of your home world Usel. and unless you know dune you don't know what that is you know so it's great to see that and I, I talked about that too during uh, the the uh, Thor sketch that I did that my my geek test or not test but I used to you know think I was so cool because I would be like oh yeah how do you pronounce Thor's hammer you know and that was kind of my my uh, geek litmus test you know it's like I want to see if you're as cool as you think you are you know how do you pronounce it you know now everybody can you know so it's great that everybody is embracing or appreciating um, the comic book world and all that uh, the, the 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 Philip K. Dicks and and uh, beautiful writers have spent time creating for us. You know, I appreciate that. Okay. All right, so let's see. Okay, so here's the other tricky thing. I don't have a lot of pictures to go by. <laughs> I uh, This is before the show, before the premiere, before any of this. So I'm kind of guessing, just guessing at a lot of this stuff, you know. And uh, uh, so I apologize if it's not 100% correct. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm trying. All right, let me try to find a picture of her face. What do we got here? I see some hair off over to the side, so I'm just going to kind of play with that. And that's <laughs> that's the other funny thing is there's a picture of her with her, her hair flipped over, you know. But I don't know if it's because she's just got into a fight or what. So I'm going to draw. I'm going to draw what I see, and we'll see what happens. Okay. All right. I'm happy with that. I like this. I'm I'm very excited. So I'm going to move forward. I'm going to erase some of this just so it's a little thinner, a little lighter, more of a ghost of an image because I make my own ghosts with my special computers. All right, and I just wanted to lighten this up just a little bit because when I switch over to the Sharpie, I want the Sharpie to stand out. I don't want the pencil line to stand out. If you're working with pencil, great. That's that's awesome, that's perfect. I'm trying to show you how to work with Sharpies to make it uh, a nice bold image. And I don't want the pencil lines to stand out as much, you know, so that's what I erased. All right, so let's welcome the skippers, the people that skipped over to this section from the beginning. They're just now joining us. So hello, skippers. Welcome to the Sharpie section of the video. We're gonna be using a Sharpie fine point and a Sharpie pen, mostly the fine point, but the pen is because it's thinner and I can control the line widths much easier, like what I need for the eyeballs or the face. So I'm gonna start off with the face. Normally you don't normally sketch the entire thing out, but I already did that, so I'm way ahead. So now I know where everything is going. So I'm going to draw the top of the lid first and see if I got in a good spot, see if I'm happy with it. Like that. And I am. That's pretty good. That Okay, so there, there's the other thing. It's usually I say, 
I do the eyelids, so I make sure I've got them uh, straight, you know, versus the way her head's turned. And But this time, I've got hair covering up one of her eyes. So we'll see what happens. I'm just going to draw now a little bit of the, the retina, the round part, like that. I'm going to come back and draw a little bit of the pupil. I can't do too much. And that's why I usually talk about on these videos is that these uh, Sharpies bleed a lot. So I kind of have to be careful with my lines and I can't draw underneath the eye. See, I let the, the iris, right? That's the colored part, show the edge of the eye and I imply that that's the bottom edge. So that's all I'm gonna worry about. So other than that, I'm gonna draw her brow like that. Ooh, look at that, what was that? That, I, I went the opposite way and it splattered. That's crazy. So, uh, yeah, so, so sorry about that. <laughs> I, I got distracted. It's like one of those, those people that see something shiny and gets distracted. You know, ooh, shiny. Um, so now I'm going to draw just a little bit of the bridge, not a lot, just like that. See, I'm implying more than anything else. Okay, and so now I'm just going to draw a little bit of a nostril. And this is, the noses are tricky because, again, I can't draw too much, but I want to, you know? I want to draw... Oops, see, I'm putting too much lines in there. I'm going too crazy with the lines. And so I need to stop right there and I can draw the mouth, okay? So I'm gonna do one of these like that, just to kind of, you know, give her the actual split of the mouth. And then I can do the lips if I can. See, like I said, it starts to bleed. So I have to be careful how much uh, ink I put down. And I think I can live with that. I like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw her jaw or her chin, I'm sorry. And this is where I start to thicken it up too, because I'm going to switch over to the Sharpie in a, little bit, in a little bit, like the big Sharpie. And so I like to make sure that the lines are going to match with the uh, width of the Sharpie. Because the one I'm about to do is, is really big. So I, I think that's pretty good. That's pretty good. And so I'm going to follow my sketch over here on this side. But I'm going to stop from where the hair is. And that's why I say I'm following my sketch. Ooh, I'm starting to get real thick. I gotta be careful there. So I'm gonna draw her neck down like that. Oh, look at that line I did. That shouldn't have happened. I'm gonna have to make this work. I'm gonna thicken it up like that. And I'll just play with some, some hair lines. And what I'll do is here, for this side, I'll do something like this. Just to have some hair hanging down. Because like I said, I don't know how much hair she has over on the side here, but I'm just gonna draw like a mess of moppy uh, um, bounty hunter hair. How's that? And that's that's what I'm saying. I'm gonna kind of cover up, cover up what I'm doing, or cover up what I don't know with uh, imagination. That's the best thing I can do. Okay. And her hair is mostly gonna be black anyway, so we don't have to worry about too much of that. So uh, I'm gonna draw some more of her neck down like this, just to give me some start stop points. And now I'm gonna draw some of that hair. So I'm gonna I'm gonna whip some over like that. Put it into the part and let's see let's do something like this thicken that back up okay that's good i like that i like that so now i'm just going to play around with the the edge here so see the top of her head is going to be around like that and i'll just go ahead and do a little bit of of lines just to just to play around with something. But I'm not gonna go too crazy because like I said, A, her hair is gonna be black. B, I don't know what is happening here. <laughs> like I said, don't know who she is, what she looks like. Oh, look at that. I, my, my, my ink is doing something strange, my Sharpie is. So I think this will be the last time I use it. Um, I don't want it to go too crazy. So anyway, uh, I don't know anything about her or if this is even right, you know? So I'm just gonna kind of play around with this and uh, we'll just do something like this just to give you some ink techniques. Something like that. Just to imply uh, highlights. And then we'll come back with the dark and, and, and 
and color a lot of that in anyway. Okay, something like that. All right, I'm going to thicken this line up because it's so, so fat right there on the edge where I messed up. And I'll just kind of match the line widths. So see, I can control the line widths much better with this. So that's why I just wanted to play with that. All right, that's good. I'm going to walk away from that. I'm going to walk away. I'm going to go too far and it's going to bleed too much. So I'm going to move on. Card Dune, right? Card Dune? I don't know. Eh, we'll figure this out. Um, I'm going to find a good picture of her suit. Card Dune. Card Dune, right? Card Dune. Card Dune. Kara? Car I don't know. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to draw, let's see, her uh, collar. It's going around. And I got some of her hair over it on this side. So I'm just going to kind of go up like this, come back around. Attach it like that. There we go. And we'll do this side over here too. So it's going to kind of come around. Do something like this. All right. Looks good. And so let's see. Let's draw the, the first little piece. That's the other thing. Is I don't know what any of this is on her suit. It's design. It's element. So I'm just going to have to call it pieces and stuff and things. All right. And I don't want to go too crazy because a lot of these have a lot of cool design on them. But, you know, that's, that's something mostly color should take care of. And again, I don't know anything about the character, so I can't go too crazy. So let's do her shoulder pieces here. I kind of have them like this. Something like that, and I can close off anything that is not touching right there. All right, looks good. See how see how much that's bleeding versus that. That's kind of the tar the the trick to these sharpies is I'm just using regular paper that you can get from your house at any point in time. So it's kind of I'm limited as to what we can do. So uh, I'm trying to make it work but just bear with me, bear. All right, so here's her chest piece, something like that. And again, there are some cool designs on it that I don't wanna to go too far because I want color to take care of it, but I wanna do some stuff. Because a lot of people spent a lot of time designing these. You know, uh, I, I, I've always wanted to be a concept artist because I love the uh, work that goes into making things, you know, the, the design behind the design, so to speak. And uh, a, a lot of people go, uh, are a part of, of designing all of this and making it look a certain way. And uh, that's why I, 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 I love it and I appreciate it. And I want to honor the design, the hard work that people put into making it look like this, you know? And draw her sleeves like that. Okay, so now I can draw her arms, and her arms are just hanging out on the side. So I'm going to draw anatomy down to the gloves. So it's just arm to the shoulder, shoulder to the forearm, like that, to the forearm, like that. And then I can draw her glove. And again, it's just it's a glove that's just kind of cool and and bounty hunter ish, you know. All right, let's see if I can zoom in and get a good look at some of this stuff. Make sure I'm not missing any really awesome details. It looks like I am missing some, but that's okay. All right. Okay, now I'm just going to draw her hand just hanging down. So I'm going to draw the back of her hand like that. Her thumb like this. And there's one finger. And then I've got the middle finger. And the other fingers are just kind of back behind. So that's all we're going to do for that. So um, there are, everybody has like these really cool uh, bangly dangles, these weird uh, things on their gloves. So I'm just going to kind of just do some kind of uh, um, rough detail to show that it's, it's, it's been well worn. You know, they uh, have been through a lot. 
All right, so let's do this hand over here. And basically I'm gonna do the same thing, but it's just hanging down or off to the side, kind of like a, you know, getting ready to, to, to throw down. It's like, you wanna go? You wanna go? Go. All right, so I'm just gonna draw the same thing like I did, just her arms to the glove. And then same thing, I'm just gonna draw just a little bit of stylized uh, look to it, you know? And come back with my, my tinier Sharpie and just kind of do a little bit of the, a little bit of the old mech look, you know, or, or uh, rough edge look. Okay. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna draw her waist like this. And I'm gonna draw her belt. Let's see, the first one is like this. And I'm gonna come down like that. Come back up here. And it has, again, with the design, it's got some really cool stripes to it, but that's just uh, the look of the belt, you know? So not so much stripes as as the 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 um, the way it's built, I guess is what I'm trying to say. The weaving and the, all that kind of cool stuff. All right. So now her gun belt, and that again has got some really cool little uh, greeblies, is what those are called. Uh, little little cool little extras. If you watch uh, Adam Savage, and he's talking about his builds and all this stuff that they used to do on Star Wars and whatnot. The extra little things, all the little details they would put that are all over the, like the Death, not the Death Star. Well, yeah, I guess the Death Star too. But I'm thinking what I was trying to explain was the, uh, the, the ships, uh, the Star Destroyers. You know, they, the, the little things that are all over it, they call them Greeblies. So that's kind of what I'm going to start calling all this little stuff that's all over them are uh, Greeblies. And... I'm sure you know this, but I'm gonna it's give me something fun to talk about. A lot of that stuff is built from old battleship parts, you know, like uh, toy models. And if you didn't know that, well, you should. You should check out Adam Savage. He's really informative and really promotes making. That's that's really fantastic. Okay, so I'm drawing her gun over here, and again, like a lot of guns, you can't really see a lot because it's a side view, you know. So we're just kind of gonna make up. Uh, a gun, you know? She's got the old Han Solo, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, scope that's on the gun hanging off to the side like that, so I think that's kind of cool. All right, so now we're just drawing basically her legs, and so I'm just gonna come down here like this, draw one side down to her boot. Oh, you know what, she does have a knee pad, so let me accent that. And here we just got to draw the other side of the leg, right? Just connect it right there. And then I can draw down to the boot. And there is something on the side here. It looks like another gun or something like that, but a greebly. She's got a greebly on the side. So we're just kind of doing something like that. So this foot's just standing forward. And something simple like that, just pointing right at you so you can pretty much just kind of do something like this. Just to kind of show some, some wear in that. And let me see, it's so dark to see. It looks like there are some, you know, bandings, stripings, things in the boot like that. So we'll just add a little bit just for, just for giggles. Like that. Okay, and the other foot I've got pretty much just like laying down low behind her. Like she's she's uh, pivoting more on this one and this one's standing. Whoa, sorry about that. It looks like the video cut off and I didn't see it until the very end, but that's okay. We got through pretty much the rest of it. Where I left you off was that I was drawing the legs. So I'm gonna walk you through this. I forgot about the hand, do that last. So I was walking through where I was doing this. So I added just a few stripes going across and I got there, right? And so here I just did basically the other side of the leg. So I just came all the way down here like this and I stopped there for the boot. I drew the boot down like this and I made a lot of jokes about these being uh, bounty hunter issued boots, like they were given to them 
uh, as they applied for Bounty Hunter School. And then I just added some creases and folds, just a few lines. I added this little leg patch here and the pocket over there I did in the first place. And so then I just came in here and did the hand. And so I just did the hand out like this. Obviously you can see that. So I just did the thumb like this, came in here, did the finger, the middle finger, pulled this ring finger out just a little bit so it wasn't touching and then pulled the pinky way out like that just to give it some depth to give it something different and then just brought this edge in over here then I just added some lines just some some crease lines just to show that the glove's been used you know nothing too crazy nothing wild but I apologize about that but it was such a good drawing that I'd rather not start over and I would just leave it like this so you guys can have a good drawing to work with as well so that being said, let's take care of the rest with color, and that is Cara Dune. So here is my colored version. You could do it however you like. I just thought I'd show you how I decided to color it. If you'd like to color it like this, you can always pause the video here and use the coloring techniques that I used, or you can just make it your own. Remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures of how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button to be updated about each new video.